this is a video response for to this question in Gazebo Answers, which asks how um, how to create an obstacle that cannot be stepped in. So the problem of this user, Percy Liu, is that the robot that it's using um, it's not it's not colliding with this box. So he asks, um, he or she asks, how to do it? W what's wrong with this box? So the first thing I I thought I could do is test if this box is is correctly made. So this is a video tutorial of how to spawn uh, an obstacle in uh, in gazebo in a gazebo simulation. So what we have here is an empty world um, launched with a uh, ROS development studio, and what we have here is. What we have here is, let me see. So I, I created, I reused this package that I defined some models here. And in this case, I defined a new model, which is unit box 01. And I created a model config file, which is this, with basically unit box 01. And then a model SDF, which is a copy paste of the code that that Percy Liu is posted here. So uh, once we have it, we have to spawn this model in in the world. For that, I'm using this launch, which takes the the S SDF file and uses this spawn sdf launch and if we go to this spawn sdf launch it's essentially launching this binary spawn model with some parameters stating the file the type of file which is in this case sdf the coordinates and the robot name that's it nothing very fancy so we can go here and spawn it Here we have it. This is spawned in this world that it's an empty world, basically. So you just have the sun and the ground plane, nothing else. And then what we are going to do is spawn a, a, a robot that we have here. So. We'll spawn this three-legged robot. We start all the controllers, and then I'm going to hit play to activate all the physics. And then I'm going to uh, yeah. So before we start just um, make a conclusion. So this box was created through a model which is this model here and what we did is spawn this model. To spawn models in Gazebo you need to uh, you need to put it in a path. That path is this one so is the one I had here so it was home gazebo models so in your system you'll have something else but basically it's the dot gazebo models and you have to install it there because we're using because we're using RDS this was made for us automatically when we create the model here and we relaunch it automatically copies this to that folder but basically it's the same principle so once we have it um, I'm going to activate the demo to see uh, a robot in movement and how it can collide with this. So we're going to put it a bit closer and see how it interacts with the box. If, if, if it works, I mean. So here we have it. 
So as you can see, it's interacting perfectly. Now it got stuck. So this is a very good sign that it works. So let's try something different. For example, like that. Yeah. Yeah, so it it's sitting all the time. So it's not going through the box. And if we stop if we stop the robot moving and we move the robot to the box you see it's interacting perfectly so the response to this answer is uh, the box is perfectly fine what's the problem it could be many many problems we need more information about that but basically it could be that the meshes on the robot went through some way, maybe they are not close enough. Maybe it's the world configuration that it doesn't it's not correctly made. And maybe it could be sometimes when the robot is really heavy, sometimes it, it goes through objects. So it depends on a lot of factors, so we need more information. But if you want to try to solve your problem, try following the steps. So using this spawning this box and using an empty world and then uh, creating a small robot using this robot or something similar to see if it's the box or the, so if it's not the box, so it, it can be the world or maybe it's the robot and then work from there. So that's all for this tiny video response so we if you're interested in more content on robot and robotics with ROS and learning and using the RDS platform as so one please subscribe and give a thumbs up to this video and that's it thank you